So are you on? Hello. Ah, you are there. Yes. I see, I see Neil's not on yet though, hey? No. No, no, he's not. Okay, no problem. We'll just wait then. I see because you host, hey? So you can just make him host then. Okay, I will. Perfect. But he's not yeah, just waiting for Neil. Uh, yeah, when he comes on, that's fine. Mm. Are you moved? Yeah, still sorting out my desk, but yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's see. Hmm? I hope he's not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many people they're going to be today because it seems like there's that other workshop in Durban. Oh, yeah. Mm. He actually asked me and I was like, usually you have more than 20, sometimes 30. <laughs> uh. We have to get some staff to join. <laughs> yeah, I can ask. Oof, but they're busy though. Maybe I can mm -hmm. ask Nandy, Rebecca, and um, Taryn. But I'm yeah. sitting next to Leon, so maybe I can ask him. Yeah, I'm sure some of them will join. Let's see. Okay, all right. So I'm going to just mute and then let me go speak to Leon. Okay. All righty, bye. Daniel. Hi, how are you? Dan and you. I'm very good. Sorry, I'm good. like a couple of minutes late. Should we Not just at all. No, Someone yeah. Let me just me. um just let me make you host. Hold one sec for me. And let me make you host. Then you can just check it to see that it's all working fine. You can see the screen. I can see your screen. Yeah, it's going. It's going into PowerPoint now. I see. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I see it. Still a bit early, so we'll wait for everybody to log on, Neil. Yeah, there's a bit of a process yet to finish. Uh, you will see, <laughs> soon see duplicate screens there. Yes, there it's working. I can see the big screen. I think we should be good to go. I'm just going to try and play one video to check if you can hear yeah, the audio sure. of it. No problem. We've checked it with Phil, but I just want to. With Philip, yeah. So we can check it again, no problem. You know what they say? It's the little things that make a big difference, like a little warm breeze from a room with a view. Audible? Yeah, working. I can hear the sound. That's perfect. Okay, so we will just wait. Um, I see everybody's starting to log on now, so we'll just wait a little bit. Sure. And how many are we expecting to join today? Um, we never quite know how many are going to join, um, so we'll just have to wait and see how many log on. Um, I'm not sure, Neil. Sorry, I'm confused. I'm speaking to Angela right now, right? Yes, you are. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Philippa, <laughs> you know my voice. You're sorry. Philippa, Philippa is there. She was just um she was just doing something at the moment, but um right. she, she is online. She'll be online with us now. <laughs> okay. Hello, Hello, Neil. I'm here. Hi, hi. <laughs> we missed you. Trying to confuse you. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm online. Is Angie joining us as well? Yeah, she did say that she was going to join us. Yeah, she is going to join us. Um, I'm sure everybody's still logging on. Hi, Angela Johnson. Hi, Johnson. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks. And how are you? 
Yeah, all good. Thank you. I haven't uh, heard or seen you in a while. <laughs> You've been good. Yeah. <laughs> how's how's no, Durban? I, Durban is lovely uh, compared to your stupid weather in your place. <laughs> I, I was there for one month. I only came back last week, Thursday. Ah. It was easy. That's why I didn't have a chance to walk up. I was right in Rosebank. I normally oh. come and say hello to the girls there in Wood Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it was too come. cold. Yeah, and it's pretty, pretty damn cold at the moment. <laughs> and Neil's sitting in the heat and we're sitting in the cold. But yeah, but and I'm no water. About no, the heat. Yeah, you're complaining about the heat, Neil. Yeah, shame. Nice to hear you, Johnson. Thank you, Angela. Take care. Looking forward to Atlantis. Thank you, Johnson. Hi. Hi, I, Neil. Originally mm -hmm. from India, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What about you, Johnson? Of course. From I'm, from Durban. I'm from Devon, yeah. That's good. So how different is the Durban weather than uh, Joburg right now? Is it a definitely, definitely, definitely better. Yeah, they don't have the cold mornings and the cool evenings like we have in Joburg. Mm -hmm. um, so, but during the day, uh, it's not too bad out during the day now, at least the sun's shining, but uh, the mornings are very fresh, yeah. So when you come, Neil, it'll be quite uh -huh. fresh, <laughs> but it should be fine. No, for me, actually, uh, lived in India and now living in Dubai, uh, we really find in, uh, you know, our vacation should be where we find some winter, some cold weather, because we are in warm weather all the time. So it's a nice change for me. I'm looking forward for the winter. Mm, it will be a nice change for you. Absolutely. Oh, you only, you only went to Dubai now, Neil? No, it's been about uh, eight years now that I live in Dubai. Oh, so that's a long time. Yes. Which which part of India you originated from? I'm from Mumbai. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, the heat waves are about the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, we're still waiting for a few more to log on. It's not quite 11 o'clock yet. Neil, let's just give it one more minute. Thank you, um, I'm not in a hurry at all. We'll wait right. to have okay. maximum join us. I just saw yeah. Angie join in. Hello. Hello, Neil. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. So my today's presentation would cover both the properties. It will be a brief presentation. I'm not sure if I have spoken about Atlantis, the Royal, to your team before, Angela. So it would be a good opportunity to talk about that too. Yes, no, you're welcome to. And um, we're also recording it. So what we will do is we will share it with everybody the recording with them um, for those that weren't able to join today. So that'll be good. Um, well, I think we can get going. I think some people can join as we get it as we go along. So welcome everybody to the training. Um, we've got the lovely Neil Sharp joining us all the way from Dubai. And he'll be talking about the most wonderful place, Atlantis, and everything that it's got to offer and new and exciting things that are happening at their properties. So, Neil, um, I think if you'd like to just introduce yourself, then I'm happy for you to start. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. And hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Neil, and I handle the South African market, working for Atlantis uh, Dubai. Uh, when we say Atlantis Dubai, it covers the two properties. Um, Atlantis the Palm, which you see on the left, the Pink Palace. Uh, and then on the right, you see this beautiful structure, uh, massive structure, and that's Atlantis the Royal. Between the two properties is the world's largest water park called Aquaventure. Uh, so I'll be talking in details about it. Let's move to the next slide. So this is uh, Atlantis, the Palm, and also Dubai's most iconic ocean-themed resort destination. We call it destination because it's a resort where you really don't need to step out. You can be within the resort and enjoy 
a lot of options of restaurant dining. You talk about celebrity chefs. You talk about going to the world's largest water park. It's included in the package of your stay. Go into the aquarium, viewing 65,000 marine animals. It's all here. So it's a complete destination by itself, giving you a spectacular view of uh, the Arabian Sea, if you had chosen an ocean view room, or the Palm Jumeirah Island, the man-made island and the icon, uh, which really has stunning views in the evenings with the fountain show, which has recently been introduced at the point or the skyline of Dubai, or the entire creation of the fronts that you see on Palm Jumeirah Island. Moving to the next one is our inventories. I mean, in our inventory that we have, it is 1,544 rooms and suites. Now we've just made a few changes uh, recently, and hence it's not uh, to be seen here. So uh, our base category room that we have is the deluxe, of course, and they're named based on the views that you get. So it could be an ocean or a palm view, uh, depending on your preference, but they are sized between 45 to 47 square meters. And then we've got, uh, and all of our rooms, uh, of course, the lead-in categories and the Imperial Club rooms have an option of a king and a queen bedding. So uh, large families with two adults and two kids or three adults can comfortably accommodate in our queen bedded rooms. And then we have the Imperial Club room, which comes with the Imperial Club uh, amenities and the value adds, which are really beautiful. I'll talk about it later. The suites, we have three categories, terrace, skyline and regal. All of these suites have an option of two bedrooms. And then we've got, and we call them as the two bedroom terrace suite or a uh, skyline suite or a uh, regal suite. And then we've got a new category that we've recently also introduced called as a family room, which has a combination of two base category rooms overlooking the ocean with a king and a queen bedding. So let me move actually to our suite categories first to begin with. Uh, we've got our signature suites, very unique, uh, having an underwater view for example the first picture you see on your left is our underwater suite and it's uh, it has a lift within it's over three floors it overlooks the aquarium whilst you're enjoying uh, being in the bedroom or even whilst you're enjoying uh, you know your champagne lying in the jacuzzi overlooking 20 to 1000 marine animals outside there through a see-through wall We've got our presidential suite uh, and we've got our Grand Atlantis suite. So as you would have noticed, it's 1,548 rooms and suites mentioned in the previous slide. So we've just uh, removed one of our signature suite category called as the Royal Bridge Suite, which is the largest because we're getting a new development there and we would soon announce about that. But any of our signature suites that you book, you get 24 hours butler service in room dining experiences from signature suites like nobu hakasan or uh, gordon ramsay's restaurant can uh, provide food right in your room uh, you get an in-suite check-in uh, you get an access to our wet facilities at our spa and then you have an access to our lounge which is also brand new i will be showing you more uh, about our imperial club lounge so uh, our club suites, as I mentioned before, three categories with three different layouts and sizes, each available with one and two bedroom option. The two bedroom option will allow a family of six to comfortably accommodate. Sorry, I'll just minimize this so that you can see the screen. Yeah, so. When you stay in our suite, you get a return airport transfer and luxury cars, which would be a Mercedes uh, S400 or maybe even a Viano, depending on the family size. We have private check-in from a, a VIP Majlis called as the Royal Majlis. We have complimentary breakfast in bed. We have Wave House Gaming Card, uh, which is an arcade full of uh, games for kids. We give you a resort credit of that. And then we give you an access to our Imperial Club Lounge, which is again 
two floored you can take 500 guests at a time and that's where we have a beautiful sun deck uh, overlooking the ocean uh, indoor and outdoor seating and between 5 p.m to 7 p.m we also offer complimentary cocktails and canopies so now is where we would be talking about our lead-in category the deluxe with an ocean or palm view as I mentioned, uh, the picture in the bottom, the two of them actually explain nicely about the views that you would get being in our palm view room or the ocean view room. Both views are beautiful. It all depends on your preferences. But of course, palm is considered to be a higher view compared to the ocean view, which also means there is a difference in the pricing between the palm and the ocean. So as I mentioned, you have the queen beds as well. And the picture on the left top you see is where you have a family of two adults and a child comfortably enjoying the queen bedded room, which is 47 square meters. And that's the uh, bathroom that we get with our leading category. So you know what they say. It's the little things that make a big difference, like a little warm breeze from a room with a view. And leaving the little ones to spend time in their own. Sorry, uh, can we see the video clearly or should I replay it? Uh, no, it is coming up now. Thanks. Okay. You can I'm start sorry. it again. Okay. You know what they say it's the little things that make a big difference, like a little warm breeze from a room with a view and leaving the little ones to spend time in their own little world. While in the Imperial Club Lounge, you take a little break and share a little joke. Well, you know what they say, it's the little things that make a big difference. Imperial Club, add a little luxury. So that's how you can add a little luxury, you can make your guest book an Imperial Club room and it comes with all these amenities and access to the lounge, a private beach access, which you saw in the video uh, evening. Uh, uh, it could be an afternoon tea or evening cocktails where you sit and enjoy by the sun deck lounge or look in the ocean with your friends and family. Uh, moving to the next one is of course the world's largest water park with the recent uh, extension of our water park we've now got 105 record breaking slides and attractions first in the region to experience and the biggest kids water park in the middle east now so uh, let me apart from the water park of course as you all must be knowing when a guest stays at atlantis they get an access to the water park as well as the aquarium which is complimentary uh, I'm sure everybody knows about AquaVenture, Lost Chambers and Atlantis. But there are a few luxury attractions which I would really like to uh, discuss in details about, which is very uncommon and which is all within the resort, uh, where you can just make the best of it when your guests are staying in house with us, like the Dolphin Bay, where you can actually have a swim with the Dolphin uh, and make unforgettable memories. Or you can come and have some fun with our playful sea lions from South Africa. We've got the Lost Chambers Aquarium with 65,000 marine animals with screens in it, where you can learn about the rare marine animals that we have in our Lost Chambers. It has seven chambers with beautiful theme and lighting done inside. Uh, we've also got the Aqua Trek Extreme, where you can have one uh, get inside the Ambassador Lagoon with the helmet and see the beautiful 22,000 marine animals in our Ambassador Lagoon. You have an option to scuba dive, snorkel, it's a 10 meter dive. And one of the best experiences I've personally ever had, when you dive into the ocean, you might not find as many marine animals around you, including sharks, sea lions, ray fishes, etc. Moving to the next one, we have 30, two restaurants and bars and lounges uh, addition of two recently done and uh, so a few celebrity chefs that we have uh, Gordon Ramsay, Nobu, Akasan, uh, Oziano, our underwater restaurant, a fine dining experience 
Maxi Fire, known for its steaks. White Beach, also an entertainment center, which is a day beach club, indoors and outdoors. And Ayamna, to have some nice local experience of coming and dining in a Lebanese restaurant. Uh, also having some live performances with uh, belly dancing and Arabic music uh, is what you can experience whilst you're at Atlantis. So these are the two new dining and entertainment experiences that we have. One is Wave House. Wave House is a Mexican restaurant which has bowling, which has uh, an area where we have live entertainment and bar where bands perform where uh, you have DJs performing as well uh, and we have an outdoor terrace which is massive where people can enjoy their drinks it overlooks the water park you can enjoy your shisha you can enjoy some nice music out there and then we've got two floors full of arcade games in it and this is completely a part of Atlantis it could be utilized on your half board meal plans as well the next one is White Beach which is a Mediterranean restaurant and it has an infinity pool with it. It's by the beach, so you can enjoy the pool as well as go take a dip inside the ocean. Uh, it has these beautiful cabanas, as you can see, serving you some nice Mediterranean food, amazing cocktails, and some nice house music played throughout the day. Tuesdays are usually very busy here with the ladies' stay that we have. Very famous and one of the trendiest locations here in Dubai. So this is just, I'm, I'm going to be sharing this presentation with you all, but you can take a picture of it if you want, where we have a source page, a resource page, where you can go and download pictures, images, presentations of Atlantis, uh, which gives you details on the new developments that we've had, like uh, getting a refurbishment in our complete uh, ballroom, brand new rooms, addition of a new tower called the Trident Tower, which has got 30 new rides and that's just inaugurated six months back. Uh, of course, the rooms and suites layout. The next very important and interesting uh, presentation that I would be doing about is Atlantis Royal, our new resort, uh, a five-star luxury experiential resort expected to open quarter four this year. This is how it looks. It's basically a, a, a different structure which is uh, very unique and it basically is deconstructing a building and that's the whole logic behind it and that's where you see a lot of gaps between the, the, the blocks and that gives you a lot of private space, brings in a lot of uh, air, light within the building and it's right by the ocean and it's in the shape of a wave or an S which actually makes it very interesting for every terrace that you see to have the privacy no one can actually look into yours so moving to the next slide i'm going to pause this video let it buffer so that you can have a good uh, seamless view one second there we go
you all enjoyed the video and i would again of course you would have seen a lot of unique things in the video which we would be discussing in details about it has 795 rooms and suites in total and uh, it has six penthouses it has these sky pool villas giving you massive huge terrace with in suite pools in it if you see the sky pool suite which is 38 in total uh, the terrace itself is actually almost 168 square meters wherein the suite is 118 square meters so it's quite a large in total a 300 square meters suite giving you a beautiful view to the arabian sea or the palm uh, so we've got again a little change in the naming uh, the the names that we've given to the rooms like the seascape or the palmscape which is like an ocean or a palm room uh, and then we've got the royal club king which is our Olympian club room that we have at atlantis and then we've got the sky view suites uh, which is like the skyline suite at atlantis and then we've got the terrace and the sky pool suite which we just seen and then we've got two different penthouses uh, and lastly the royal mansion which is like the bridge suite at atlantis this is just to give you an understanding of the you know the relevance of the room categories and the suites that we have but at the same time if we go and see the size of these rooms and the leading category actually is uh, 55 square meters plus the balcony so that's these are our signature suites in uh, land is royal uh, also known as the signature penthouses uh, where you experience the world's most iconic stay in one of our signature penthouses with which provides infinity pools, uh, expensive terraces to elevate the service. Uh, it has handcrafted decor and these folk uh, amenities. Um, every penthouse, of course, will come with a butler. Uh, your guests will never want to stay anywhere else with the bedrooms and the bathrooms built for the royalty and the lounge and the dining areas uh, that we have here. So let me show you uh, one of our panoramic suite living room gives you a beautiful 180 degree view of uh, Dubai. The different suite categories that we have, as I just mentioned, the sky view suite, the sky pool suite with the terrace and the bedroom. All of our suites and uh, lead-in category rooms would have uh, floor-to-ceiling windows, a lot of daylight coming in, uh, and great privacy. The next image you see is our sky pool suite with the terrace and the infinity pool. It's completely uh, transparent infinity pool with a beautiful seating area. These are our Royal Club guest rooms, uh, which comes with butler services and uh, two lounges plus a private beach, beach area, which is also called as the Royal Club Beach. The amenities that we'll be using in any of our room categories would be by graph. Uh, it would also have comb and toothbrushes, which are uh, gold plated. This is our ski seascape room, which is like the ocean uh, deluxe room, which gives you a beautiful view of the Arabian Sea. Talking about dining experiences, uh, we would now in total between Atlantis, the Palm, and the Royal have about 17 celebrity chefs. Uh, and a few of them that we have at Atlantis Royal, as mentioned here, is Aston Blumenthal. Um, a home style Iranian cuisine, a beautiful setup with great interiors by Ariana Bundi, who would be uh, having her first restaurant debut at, in Dubai. Jose Andreas, uh, of course, I don't know if you all are familiar with this chef. He's a humanitarian and he's got his uh, Galeo as a restaurant that we'd be having a Spanish restaurant. We'll be also having a little Venice cake, which is the same baker preparing cakes for a lot of royalties in-house 
So the next is entertainment and nightlife. Uh, I think this will be one of the trendiest and the sexiest venue that you can see in Dubai or even in the world overlooking being on the 20. It's called Cloud 22. It's on the 22nd floor. It has a 90 meter long infinity pool. It has a bar, which is called as a Lotus bar. It has private cabanas, air conditioned, uh, as you would see in the next image. There you go. It's a nice aerial view of Cloud 22. You'll have a nice house DJ performing here. Right next to it is where we will be having another restaurant called Ling Ling, which is by Hakasan. Uh, we've got an Hakasan in Atlantis as well. Ling Ling uh, will have a continuous cuisine served over here uh, in Izakaya fashion. And this is the place where you can have a lot of uh, entertainment, nightlife experiences, dining, drinking, and dancing. And it's based on the 22nd floor as well. So lastly, we have our spa called Awaken, which has 17 treatment rooms in it. And uh, of course, with hammams, uh, styling salons, indoor and outdoor fitness space. And uh, the spa offers some holistic uh, therapies fused with modern technologies and exclusive treatments, including skin and body care lines. Uh, which would be only found in Awaken, which is our in-house brand. So I'm done with my presentation and I'm very happy to now answer to your questions. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Neil. Wow, that's it. that certainly is a world beyond. Um, Atlantis, the Royal looks amazing, sure. So we hope that, um, I'm sure that um, you guys have got some questions. Um, I was lucky enough to be in Atlantis. I visited and had a really nice party there during ATM. And it's looking as gorgeous as ever. And the wave pool and the wave, you know, the water park and everything looks amazing. So I see Johnson's got his hands up. So Johnson, what do you what would you like to ask Neil? Yeah, uh, thank you, Neil. I think it's fantastic. The architecture of the Royal Atlantis is really beautiful. But looking from far, with due respect, it looks like a whole lump of shipping containers put together well it is unique trust me uh, and the whole uh, shape that you see of atlantis royal when you would visit has a science behind it has a logic behind it and when you actually come and see one of our sky sky pool villa and you see this private space being on this uh, 44th floor maybe on the 36th floor seeing the arabian sea from there having a lot of private space just makes a complete different uh, experience that you can never get anywhere else. Yeah, but as I said, it does look like a whole lot of shipping container, but it's beautiful, absolutely. Yes. You know, whoever thought of that idea was fantastic. Thank Good you. show, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Johnson. Does anybody else uh, have any other questions? Oh, oh, one more thing, Angela, I'll be honest with you. I think uh, your, 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 your marketing team must negotiate a better rate with the Atlantis because I lost uh, this last I think, three weeks, two weeks ago from one of my clients who booked during pandemic to go to uh, Priyanka will tell you to go to Mauritius and we cancelled it and they decided to go to Atlantis but they couldn't we couldn't get, give them a good rate and they booked on online and so forth so therefore I think you're the marketing team must be vigorous and get a better rate. So I lost that booking. So should I answer to this? Uh, yes, Neil, but they did come. But they did come to Atlantis. Right, okay. but they did it on their own. Okay, yeah, Neil can answer that. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jonathan, actually, for bringing this up. Uh, we have a special tie-up with Thompson's Holidays, and that's mostly year-round. And what very often happens is if ever you issue, you face an issue with the pricing, you should get in touch with the team who handles your pricing because there is an exclusive partnership that we have with Thompson throughout, which is a very competitive way. It definitely can happen, as you mentioned sometimes, that you might have lost a booking and especially over COVID when things were very 
slow we probably wouldn't have initiated initiated something but at this point of time if you ask angela and angie as a team we are engaged and we are pretty much on top of things so you should try it out again and if ever you face we will make sure that you don't lose the booking in fact we give special uh, you know focus on your guests when they come and stay with us nearly if you think i'm uh, lying see this is 3 weeks ago you look in your booking you'll see the barnes family b a r n e s so, you know they right, were supposed right. to go to they were supposed to go to lux in mauritius but okay. they you know the barnes family b a r n e s right and did you uh, raise this issue with uh, your ho did you ask them about it no 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 Why because as it said, we we couldn't get a better rate you okay. know so they just to go okay, on the I'll, it. I'll have a look into it cuz um we certainly do have good rates yes as um neil says that sometimes direct they do do last minute deals and that but um right. certainly i'll have a look into that one johnson thank you thank you bye Okay. Does um, I know we are working on really good specials with Neil, so we'll make sure that we do get them out for everybody. Does anybody else have any other questions? Um, Neil, can you get between the two um, properties? How do you get between the two properties? So we will be definitely having the golf cars taking you between the two properties, uh, and the one staying at Atlantis can access the Royal as well as the uh, other way. Atlantis Royal guests can come and experience the water park, the dolphins, the restaurant options that we have, and that's why we call it as a destination by itself. Yeah, you don't need to go anywhere else, and the restaurants are sure amazing restaurants. Anybody else got anything? No. Everybody's also, most very... of the times we come up with half board dining experiences, and we've got enhanced half board experiences where you can actually go to the Gordon Ramsay's restaurant as well to dine and utilize your half board. You can go to Nobu as well, where there's just a small supplement you need to additionally pay for a couple of restaurants. Apart from that, the rest you can enjoy your food as well as uh, soft drinks uh, available there. Which is included in your upboard option. Awesome! So, world in one. Everybody has to get to Dubai and to enjoy Atlantis. Thank you, Neil. We've got some exciting marketing um, things coming up and um, some excellent pricing. Um, and yeah, thank you, Neil, for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, thank for joining. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Looking forward to receiving your emails. Call any questions, please connect with me. I'll be more than happy to assist. If you're like ever coming to Saudi uh, to Dubai, it'll be a <laughs> pleasure to meet you all as well. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank you. Bye. Keep well. Bye. Bye.